six belly button in and five four activate your feet Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Henna, a certified Pilates teacher. Today we are going to focus on your thighs and your hips. So if you're ready, just roll your mat. Let's do this together. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to warm up a little bit before we start the main workout. So I want you to sit tall with your back in neutral. Feel free to bend your knees and open your legs if it's apart. If it's easier for you to sit tall, lengthen the spine and open the hips. I want you to inhale and slowly just bring your head to one side. Try to bring your shoulders down as far as you can. And your opposite shoulder just go all the way to the opposite side towards the hips. Inhale to the other side and exhale, bring it back to the center one more time. To the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center. Look down to the mat and look up and down and up and back to the center. Now start to rotate your head around your neck. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway and then reverse and bring it back to the center all right now i'm going to open your arms to the side and start to make a little pull here for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 rotate your torso to one side come back to the opposite side and back to the center keep breathing here with your own breath pull the belly button in press your hip in you press your seating bones down to the mat and one more time to the opposite side and back to the center open your legs as wide as you can dorsiflex with your feet and lean on one side to feel your hamstring and stretching stretch your hips a little bit and to the other side and slowly bring your torso back to the center walk your hands towards the front just go as far as you can listen to your lower back so roll your spine if you need to and slowly walk your hands back all right now keep your feet towards the center, knees together, make a little pose for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and let's move to the main workout. So I wanted to lean on one side, lean on one side, so hand support your head, Take the other hand in front of your chest, bring your knees to 90 degrees, activate your feet, inhale, open your leg as wide as you can and move your foot towards the front and bring it back. So your knee, try to stabilize at the same position, only your foot move towards and then come back 10 9 belly button in 8 keep breathing 7 squeeze your inner thigh 6 and 5 4 keep breathing 3 inhale and exhale 2 and last one and now close your knees and lift it up as high as you can so 10 times 9 keep breathing 8 inhale and exhale and seven pull the belly button in six and five more times with your own breath four three keep your knee at 90 degree two and last one oh close and open and slowly bring your legs back now i want to inhale lift your heel higher than your knee inhale try to reach as high as you can lengthen and come back knees touching each other so ten times with your own breath ten keep breathing nine belly button in eight squeeze in the thighs and seven six stabilize your hips five belly button in four three two and last one inhale lengthen exhale come back and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth the last movement, try to lengthen your leg all the way up to the ceiling or a little bit further away if it's easier for your hips. Now start to rotate, tiny circle here, press your lower leg down to the mat. So 10, 9, 8, your whole leg is moving, 7, 6, try to always facing your knee towards the head, 5, 4, make a little bit bigger circle if you can stabilize your hips and last one very good and reverse so 10 9 8 7 feel your leg is shaking 
and five beautiful four three two this movement are really good for your booty as well last one and slowly bend your knees shake your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right let's move to the other side to do psychic series on the other side so again hand support your head the other hand in front of your chest and make sure you bend your knees 90 degrees now inhale and slowly lift your leg as high as you can try to move your toes toward the front and then back so knee stabilize 10 times nine keep breathing squeeze in the thighs eight seven go as far as you can six just orange movement here four belly button in three inhale and exhale and two and last one and slowly bring your legs down and as i wanted to allow yourself to open your leg as wide as you can and bring it back to the center 10 times so 10 keep breathing nine very good eight and seven six belly button in and five very good four three inhale keep breathing two and last one open come back lift your heel up higher than your knee and try to reach your leg all the way towards the front and come back 10 times so 10 keep breathing and nine put the belly button in eight press the lower leg down seven squeeze in the thighs six keep breathing and five four inhale and exhale three very good two and last one lengthen come back and slowly bring your legs down open your leg as wide as you can lengthen and start to rotate tiny circles so 10 9 8 belly button in 7 6 keep breathing 5 4 make a bigger circle if you want more challenge 2 last one and reverse so 10 9 keep breathing 8 7 pull the belly button in 6 and 5 4 inhale and exhale 3 2 and last one and slowly bring your legs down to the mat shut your hips and deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i'm going to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back so keep your back in neutral position arms along your body lift your legs up to 90 degrees open your knees as well as you can come back 10 times so squeeze in the thighs 10 knees on top of your hips 9 8 and 7 keep breathing 6 5 inhale open exhale come back 3 two and last one open come back lengthen your legs all the way up or if you cannot do that so keep your knees on top of your hips and keep the same angle on your knees all the time we move so try to activate your feet open your leg as wide as you can come back arms wider to make it more balanced 10 very good nine keep breathing eight belly button in seven six belly button in and five four activate your feet three keep breathing and two and last one open come back open your legs as wide as you can dorsiflex with your feet start to make a little pulse here so ten nine eight lengthen your legs if you can five four three two and one now extend your ankles and bring your toes towards each other and lengthen so ten squeeze in the thighs try to stabilize your hips here back in neutral nine eight and lengthen seven six slowly with your own breath and five more times with your own inhale and exhale and two and last one lengthen come back and slowly bring your knees towards the center press your feet down tuck your tailbone forward draw your hips all the way up and now bring your knees towards the center towards each other and bring it back together so imagining you have a ball between your thighs so 10 9 keep breathing 8 7 belly button in 6 and 5 4 hips higher if you can 3 squeeze in the thighs belly button in and last one and slowly draw your hips down all right now i'm going to allow yourself to bring your knees to one side leave your leg your top leg just higher than your 
hips and open your arms wider for more support. Now this time we're going to lengthen your leg and rotate to the opposite side as far as you can go. Bring it back and bend. So 10 times with your own breath is going to be the new, work, new movement for today. 10, beautiful. 9, try to stabilize your hips if you can. Press your whole arms down for more support. 8, squeeze your inner thighs. Come back. Just go as far as you can and bring it back with control. 7, Use your core to hold the hips at the same place. Six, only your leg is moving. Bring it back. Press your lower leg down to the mat. And five, beautiful. You can use your hand to press your lower leg down if you need to. Four, squeeze your inner thighs. And three, two more times. Look at your own breath. Squeeze your inner thighs. Bring it back with control. And last one, inhale open exhale come back and slowly bring it down come back to the center to the opposite side so again the other hand on top of your leg and open your arm to the side lengthen open bring it back and bend 10 times with your own breath so 10 press your leg down to the mat nine keep breathing eight And seven, inhale, and exhale. Six, pull the belly button in. And five more times with your own breath. Four, press your whole arms down. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Three, open, come back. Two, and last one. Inhale, and exhale. And slowly bring your legs down to the mat. Shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now, lift your heels off the mat. And make sure you engage your core. Keep your back in neutral. Press your hip bones down to the mat. Press your whole arms down to make it more, to make it more supported. I want to inhale, lengthen one leg towards the front. Lift it up and down and bend. So to the opposite side, lift and down and bend 10 times with your own breath. And 10, keep breathing, belly button in to the other side. 9, keep breathing, come back to the other side. 8, inhale, lift and down and bend to the left. Lift it up and bring it down. 7, engage your core as much as possible. Squeeze your inner thighs, stabilize your hips, only your legs are moving. Six. To the other side, inhale up, exhale down and bend. And five more times with your own breath. Four belly button in. Keep breathing. Squeeze your inner thighs. Three. to the opposite side and two make sure you engage your core and work your core hard here to stabilize the hips and increase the movement the mobilization of your hips here to the opposite side and last one and bring your heels down shake your heels a little bit rotate your ankles and reverse and the last movement just bring one leg down slide your toes to the side and come back to the other side open both legs to the sides and bring it back to the center so 10 squeeze in the thighs keep breathing open come back and nine belly button in eight seven just go as far as you can bring it back to the point your knee on top of your hip six very good. Engage your core as much as possible. And five, open as wide as you can. Four, slide, come back to the opposite side, back to the center. Two. And last one, to the other side. And slowly bring your legs back to the center. Shake your heels and you deeply rotate your ankles and reverse. 
and slowly lean on one side to sit up. Inhale deeply, you can bend your knees if you feel more comfortable or you can cross your legs if you want. I want you to inhale, hands on your knees, rotate your shoulders fully to four direction. And now round your spine to your chest, walk your hands all the way towards the front. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Walk your hands back. Rotate your torso to one side, rotate your torso to the opposite side and one more time to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center. Articulate your spine and round your spine in your chest. Belly button in. Two more times with your own breath. Keep breathing. And last one. Inhale and exhale round and slowly bring your torso back to the center. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Lengthen your legs. Don't stay flexed with your feet. You can always soften your knees if it's more comfortable with you and easier to lengthen your spine. I want you to inhale, try to open your legs to the side and round your spine to your chest and then bring it back, relax your shoulders. So five more times with your own breath. Don't have to flex forward so far. Just listen to your lower back. You can just round your spine and stay at the same place if you want or just go all the way to the front. But just again, listen to the lower back. Last one. And bring your hands down, shake your hips and you deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. Shake your legs, shake your feet, Inhale and exhale, rotate your ankles, reverse and slowly bend your knees, hug your knees to your chest, shake your hips and deeply and exhale deeply and that's the work after today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell to see notification every day when I upload the new video. I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next workout. Bye bye.